Okay, welcome back. I got a lot of things to get to. Um, the Verdance map is gone and Caldera is here. And I had a video that I've been planning on doing for such a long, long time now on rotations. Uh, doing a much more in-depth analysis of rotations. Uh, being able to predict circles. And uh, uh, taking a look at all the different kind of rotation styles more in depth. Uh, I know Ice Iceman Isaac did a video covering rotations, but he mainly spoke focused on the pinwheel rotation. He didn't really focus too much on on the other rotations. Um, there's a lot to cover. Uh, the map is very different, and uh, to start off the bat, um, most of the space that's in the middle is. Um, <laughs> Maybe I should start in a different location. The circles are much easier to predict than they were in Verdansk. Um, I've I've studied the circles quite a bit since Caldera came out, and I can say that the majority of them focus around the edge, and more importantly, they don't really pull back. Uh, up until circle 7, you're going to get most of the circles just to keep focusing on the center of where the first circle was located. So to give you an example, let's say the first circle was located on uh, C, uh, let's say I3. I3. If that's where the center of the circle was, then the final circle uh, is going to be within about 200 meters of that location. It's going to be w roughly within about one square of that uh, location. Uh, it rarely turns back and that's something that existed in Verdansk and partly in Rebirth Island. It has to do with the algorithm and I can go much more into detail as I'm able to take more uh, data down. However, um, because of this, uh, generally what you're going to have is the circles are going to move in the same path and you're just going to rotate basically in straight lines, uh, more or less. Now, the pinwheel is still usable, and I can explain more detail how it's usable and how it changes um, to match your playstyle. However, these circles are going to pull almost directly straight. Now, let's get to the mountain that's in front of us. The mountain is in the center of the map, uh, which is opposite of what it was in Verdansk. In Verdansk, all of the mountainous areas were along the outskirts. What that means is this, um, whenever you were f going through the, the wooded areas in Verdansk, you were forced to those areas with the circle. Because the circles stay along the sea, uh, the uh, shore, uh, what you can do is fight from one uh, area of the shore to another area of the shore. Uh, these are where the, the more uh, thickly dense uh, buildings are. These are the ones that you would typically be accustomed to fighting. Um, if you do have to go up in the mountain, you're going to have to go up into um, into other teams, which is going to be already a disadvantage. The only advantage you'd get is on the way down, when you can look down onto other teams. Um, but generally, what you can do is uh, take a spot uh, say like on the beachhead or say uh, on top of the shore or something like that take a spot and if you're being gas kept you can see up the hill to see if you can rotate around it's a lot easier to to get around teams that are trying to to uh, gas uh, gatekeep you um, that being said one of the things and I'm going to discuss it in a second when we get there one of the things that you can do is because of the change to the loadout mechanic it actually is a much better uh, tool to be able to force your loadouts uh, prior to uh, Caldera uh, and this is something that nobody else really talks about or knows prior to Caldera the way that the uh, the mechanic would work is that the loadout would spawn within the circle if you are also within the circle if you're outside of the circle it falls into to the next adjacent uh, location what that means is that uh, whenever the first circle collapses you're given time before the next loadout drops you can position yourself to be able to ensure that the loadout is going to drop in a safe and uncontested location I have an example of that right now in this clip when the loadout drops in about two minutes um, this is a very big tool and to be able to use it effectively you need to either be on the mountain or you need to have a helicopter or some way of, of 
uh, getting around very quickly. Um, you can see that the circle on the minimap, you can see that the circle is very close to me. That, t that line, the distance between where I am to the circle is going to be where the loadout is going to drop. And you'll even see me ping uh, where it's going to be. Right now I'm gathering loot. I'm playing solo quads. So I bought myself a cluster. I bought a munitions box. Uh, self revive. I think I, I need to get myself a gas mask and so on. I want to be as looted up as possible. Uh, and this is a bad example because uh, the circle is not in the center which contradicts what I was saying earlier majority of the circles are going to be along the edge um, which are going to be very easy to predict and very easy to maneuver around you just have to really uh, focus on staying close to the to the buildings along the edges uh, try not to get more than about 400 meters away from the shore if you're more than 400 meters away you're going to get into situations where you may get third partied and um, you'll get into situations where you're going to be working uphill um, the amount of buildings that are uh, defensible that are easy to rotate out of have greatly been reduced so a lot of it is going to be just positioning the mountain top is going to be something that's uh, good to position because you can move uh, down the mountain clearing off as you go and always having the the height advantage that's going to be something that's very reliable um, but uh, other things that you can do is take the center zone around 150 meters away from the ocean and hold those positions because it's generally going to stay around that position I should also just say briefly that the loadout would have dropped right now and you would have been too close to the circle that it would have spawned about 150 to 200 meters away whereas now uh, as soon as the circle collapses um, we're going to have a little bit of distance and it's going to fall at a different location. Right now you can see the example that I was given earlier that the loadout was dropped right at the tangent where uh, the white line meets the circle. I didn't want it in that spot. I saw that there's a buy station there so I wanted to move over and you can see that it drops almost exactly where the orange ping was and that's going to be by itself it's not going to be with another loadout with it even though there may be other teams in that area their loadouts are going to drop in different locations uh, helis are very good for rotating around the map quickly even with a car it's going to be very very difficult um, hopefully I I've given you a good amount of tips I have a bunch more to get through uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, studying on rotations in Caldera a lot of studying on rotations in general and uh, I couldn't really get to that loadout so I had to move it over but uh, hopefully it's been a big help um, I never really have problem rotating or getting loot together in Caldera whatsoever the only issue that I have is having a team that separates themselves uh, one person would run off die by himself another person would run off and die by himself um, I'm playing with randoms I, I really am waiting for rebirth to come back but I got tons more content coming uh, tons more analysis on uh, on how the circles rotate and how to predict circles so um, if stay tuned if you can uh, I got tons more videos to talk about